On May 23rd, 2023, I accomplished my first big milestone, and that was graduating high school. Before you step into the doors of high school, you never think that four years could fly by so fast. You never really think about all the friends you made and the organizations that will become a part of your life. The one organization I loved the most was BAM. Every year I looked forward to the summer because band camp dates was where we prepared for our fall halftime show. Oh my god! It's gonna be color guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just say like, color guard can clean this up? Yeah, color guard. Yeah. You wanna put it on video? Yes. Yeah. Color guard can clean this up. I joined this big family that I loved spending every second with. We shared the highlights of life and our tough times, but it was so humbling. Despite all of the fun I had though, where is it now? the two periods of graduating high school. You have right after graduation where you're enjoying the fun of being a graduate and you're having dinners and hanging with friends and then you start grinding at work but then you also have the battle with life and uncertainty. Sinead, hold up. Oh, we... What's up guys, so we made it to... Hey Anna Grace, this is my love note, dear. No. Okay. Rolling. Scene eight, shot three, take three. Senior year is packed with lots of challenges. I began working on college materials the spring before my senior year and I was already experiencing burnout. You have to make every single moment of your year count because you will not see it again. I repeat, you will not see it again. I spent countless hours on homework, labor, running a business, and trying to manage social media that I wasn't focused on God. Sometimes you just have to slow down to experience the blessings God will have prepared for you. You just have to come to a halt in life to realize what will work in your life and what doesn't. You just have to have time to think. I'm proud to share this because I've personally delved back into my Bible, into the Word of God, and going back to church. And just fulfilling life with God. And the Bible is the best thing you could ever 
have in your everyday life. It isn't just a book. It's the book of life that pulled me out of those down moments. And this is the source that brings the light in my tunnel in life. And it can do the same for you. And you'll start to experience where you find happiness in the dark times. I'm Walter. Thank you so much for clicking or even watching this far into the documentary. I just want to give insight on why I created this short documentary. It was document the memories that I cherished in high school because uh, it was kind of hard to say goodbye. After high school, you're just kind of left with like, what am I going to do next? Even if you're going to college, but you're like, I'm not going to really be close to these people for a very long time. And it was kind of hard saying goodbye to that. But I also wanted to make it to show you guys that you're not alone in this process. It's been really hard after high school uh, transitioning into your adult life. And a lot of the words that I talked about and like just going to God for everything is true in my life. And I just wanted to let you guys know that you're not alone in this process and that this is the best thing you could do for yourself during this time and any other dark times you will have in your life. So I hope you enjoyed this film and let me know what you think down below. See you guys in my next video.